I'm loving this blue sky. Hello you six, welcome to today's reading lesson, the last reading session before half term. Now we are going to be reading just one more chapter of uh, Wonder, and it's actually quite a short chapter, but then you've got two tasks to do, okay? So first one, you're going to think about uh, the latest precept and whether you agree or disagree with it and what it means to you. And then secondly, you're just going to do a bit of a summary, explaining your thoughts about the book so far. So let's get into the text. So yeah, like I said, one more chapter and um, it is Mr. Brown's October precept. Now, what you are going to be doing in a little bit, so it explains what the precept is for this, this month in the book. And you're going to write your own reflection. Oggy does one, which, she, which I'll show you in a minute. And you're going to do one in a similar way, okay? So, this is going to be quite a quick video, I think. But let's get in to the text. Mr. Brown's precept for October was... Your deeds are your monuments. He told us that this was written on the tombstone of some Egyptian guy that died thousands of years ago. Since we were just about to start studying Egypt, uh, ancient Egypt in history, Mr. Brown thought that it was a good choice for a precept. Our homework assignment was to write a paragraph about what we thought the precept meant or how we felt about it. Now, quickly, uh, deeds, this isn't in the book, this is just me explaining it to you. Deeds are the things that we do, okay? These are the things that we do. And monuments are the things that are kind of, we are remembered by. So if you think about like the Taj Mahal, you could say that that is a monument to the person who made it, or well, he actually made it for like his wife, I think. Or like a statue is a bit like a monument to help us remember somebody. And what this precept is saying is that the things you do are the things that you are remembered for, okay? Continue. This is what I wrote. This is what I wrote. This precept means that we should be remembered for the things we do. The things we do are the most important things of all. They are more important than what we say or what we look like. The things we do outlast our mortality. The things we do are like monuments that people build to honor heroes after they've died. They're like the pyramids that the Egyptians built to honor the pharaohs. Only instead of being made out of stone, they're made out of the memories people have of you. That's why your deeds are like your monuments, built with memories instead of stone. And that's the end of the chapter. Now, I very much like what Oggy wrote there. I think he, if, if someone in my class had written that, I'd be like, yes, yes. So your task is to write something similar for that precept. Your deeds are your monuments. Can you explain what that means? And can you describe whether you agree with it? So that's task number one. And yeah, use Oggies as an example. Task number two is to write a slightly longer piece of writing, just giving me your thoughts about the book Wonder so far. So we're obviously gonna be having a week off from it. Uh, we're nowhere near through, so we are currently, let me just see, 25% of the way through the book. So we're a, a quarter of the way through. So there's still lots and lots to go. And as we hit a quarter of the way through it, what are your thoughts on it? How do you think it's going? Like what, what are you enjoying? What, uh, what are your reasons for it? And is there anything that you don't like and give reasons for it? So two tasks today. First one, your deeds are your monuments. What does that mean in, in your own words? And do you agree with it? Task number two, how are you finding the book Wonder? So what do you like about it? What do you like about the characters? What is so good about it? And give reasons for it. I, I've made no secret to the fact that I love this book and I could go into a million reasons about it. Okay. Uh, if you don't like it, if there's anything you don't like, then include that too, but give me some reasons for it. And that is the end of today's video, year six, like four minute video, we're flying, but you've got a good 15, 20 minutes work to do on top of it. Okay, look forward to seeing you at year six. Good, bye.